May 19, 1942, over the Taman Peninsula, a German FW-189 reconnaissance aircraft takes heavy fire from Soviet fighters. One of its engines is torn clean off, and an entire tail boom gone. By all logic, that should have been the end. Losing half your tail means instant spin. No stability, no control. But somehow, this aircraft didn't crash. It kept flying. Not only that, the pilot crossed enemy lines and landed safely back at base. And this wasn't a one-time miracle. German records show it happened several times. FW 189S limping home with massive chunks missing, tails shredded, yet still airborne. So what was the secret? To understand it, you have to look at how the FW-189 was built. It wasn't a conventional twin-engine aircraft. Each of its engines was mounted on its own tail boom, completely separate from the central crew pod. That meant the pilot, observer, and all main flight controls were located in a strong central section that could still function even if one tail assembly was blown away. In short, the plane's survival wasn't luck. It was brilliant engineering. The Soviets quickly realized how tough this little flying eye was. Their gunfire rarely brought it down. So they tried something drastic, ramming attacks. One Soviet pilot, Sergeant Chumbarev, actually sliced off an entire tail boom in midair. Unbelievably, the FW-189 still made it home. Later, British test pilot Captain Eric Winkle Brown, one of the most experienced aviators in history, flew a captured FW-189 himself. He finally understood what made it so resilient. The aircraft's unique design meant that even with massive structural damage, its core remained aerodynamically balanced enough to stay controllable. So when you see photos of an FW-189 that made it back missing half its tail, it's not just a story of luck or pilot skill. It's a story of German engineering pushed to the edge of physics. In a war full of aircraft designed to fight, the FW-189 was designed to survive.